Do you drink? Well, I'm 20. That doesn't mean you don't drink. So let's just, um, yeah. Hi, <laughs> amigos! Oh yeah, my amigo! That what do we get? It's Thursday. Let's go do the whiteboard. Let's go do the whiteboard. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the whiteboard. Yeah. What I do want to say is that there's a transition happening. I was doing vlogs based on my goofiness and my my personality and stuff and then i would throw in the golf well, because i have so many golfers i think that i should start switching it to mostly golf and doing away with my goofiness and what is happening is that i'm bottling up my goofiness and i'm kind of setting it aside and waiting for the golf, which happens towards midday, which is like two o'clock to four. I have to get used to it. The goofiness is actually what allows me to do a lot of the different shots. Because when I'm playing, I don't really give you a lot of angles. I I guess what this is gonna do is it's gonna force me to figure out more creative ways to shoot. Not for the vlog. We still got lots more to do, kid. I'm just talking about shutting it down. I shut it down. Yeah, shut it down. Supposedly, it's supposed to be soundproof. Shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta stop being a goofball. All right, it's time to get out of here. I want to go practice. Practice. Everything's a dollar today. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Kelsey, you can get hot dogs, I think sliders, and beers for a dollar. Okay, so let me, uh, Let's discuss something for a second here, my children. Just draw a straight line back. Straight line through. It's a dollar beer, dollar hot dogs, dollar hamburgers. So everybody freaking comes out. Foursome just skipped a hole number four over there. They were just waiting here for 10 minutes and they gave up on waiting because there's two groups. There's one on hole number three that hasn't even teed off yet. And then there's a foursome on hole number two. They're not even on the green yet. It's funny to see it, like how irritated some people can get. And I understand, man, it's a waste of time sometimes you'll come out and play seven holes. Not only are you irritated, you end up playing like shit. <laughs> Amigos, let's talk about hatred. It's our biological imperative because if you notice, I don't get girls hating on my channel because girls don't care. I'm not girls competition. I'm the guys competition. Let's take it back to caveman days. If we were in caves and there was another man that was weaker than me, then he has a right to hate on me because that means that I'm gonna take the food whenever he gets it. Same thing goes for me uh, when I see a bigger man. Let's say I 
uh, confront a 6'2 dude. How am I gonna compete? He's gonna kick my butt. When it comes to down to chasing females and getting food. Getting food, of course, is most important because uh, we need to eat to be healthy. And then next is our biological drive to mate, to make babies. So we're gonna be fighting for food and for females. It is our biological imperative to hate on one another. It's the ones that aren't doing anything, the unproductive ones, the ones that are hating. And not only that, they use curse words to get their message across. Like, this is effing garbage. You are effing pathetic. This is effing stupid. This is effing unwatchable. It's the persons that aren't doing much, they're not pr being productive, that are the ones that are hating. Notice that if you're being hated on, it's because you're being liked. Underneath, there is something that they like about your work. There is something that they can appreciate about what you do and that's why they're hating because they secretly want to do it. This is just a theory by the way. It's not like I'm an expert on this, but this is what I've felt over the years. I was hated on today through another person's YouTube channel and so I just needed to express it. <sighs> wow, does it feel better to talk about it because it's been bugging me all freaking day. <laughs> There you go. That one you kept your head down. This probably might be your best strike of the day, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, thank you. Yeah, oh my check it out. Yeah, good to meet, to meet you. you. Yeah. Oh yeah, my amigos. All right, I do have to say that there was a lady friend next to me. And anytime there's a lady friend, come on, my focus goes away, of course. No, I'm a dude. What do you expect? My focus is gonna be a little wayward. Just because, you know, I was trying to help her out. I think it's just the chivalry, is that we have a need to help. And especially when it's a lady friend. But overall, it's good. Life is freaking bueno, my amigos. All right, the word of the day. That's right, the word of the day, yeah. Chivalry, courteous behavior, especially that of a man toward women. Combination of qualities expected of an ideal knight, especially courage, honor, courtesy, justice, and a readiness to help the weak. That's chivalry, my amigos. But that's all I got, my amigos. That's all I got, my amigos. Your positive pill of energy.